Hello, my name is Martin Duffy and I'm a professional magician. That means I go to lots of parties, some of them are for adults when I go to a trade show or a wedding, and some could be for children just in somebody's home, or very often I go to schools as well. And when I go to school, I'll talk to them about how to do magic using maths. And I want to try something here with you now. If you're with a few people, I want you to do it in your heads. But if you're by yourself, you might want to take a pen and paper and work it out. I want you to think of a number between 0 and 9. And don't say anything, just think of a number between 0 and 9. Okay? Now I want you to double that number. Now I want you to add 8 to that. And now half the total, divided by 2. And then take away the number you first thought of. Okay, you should now be thinking of a number, and I'm going to tell you what that number is. It's... In 1936, Albert Einstein was invited over to Princeton University in America to lecture on the theory of relativity, E equals mc squared. This is a visual aid that he came up with to demonstrate the theory of relativity. It's a grid of 63 squares. Across the top we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Down the side we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 7 is 63. Okay, I'm going to tip them out. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. E equals mc squared. Let's just see if we can change these, um, the energy of this. Okay, put some energy in this and change the mass. Let's try it. Hmm, don't seem to need that piece. Across the top we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Down the side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 7 is 63, and 1 is 64. Okay, let's do this again. Right, two pieces. Across the top we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Down the side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 7 is 63, 64, 65. Let's try it one more time. Right, another spare piece. Across the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Down the side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 7 is 63, 64, 65, 66. Now obviously, as I've been doing this, I've been changing the mass of it. Let's just see if they'll actually fit back inside here. That's strange. Across the top, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Down the side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 7 is 63, 64, 65, 66. The good thing is every time I do this trick, I get three spare pieces. Do it 20 more times, I've got a whole new puzzle. Now, as a professional magician, I can't actually explain what you've just seen, but I can show you how to do a simplified version of it and where I started off with this playing with shapes. This book is Mathematics, Magic and Mystery by Martin Gardner. And in here, there's a version of Hooper's Paradox. This is the arrangement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across the top and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down the side. And now I'm going to rearrange them. The area has changed. Here we have a rectangle which is 5 by 6. And over here we have another rectangle 5 by 6. So we have 30 here and 30 here and 3 in the middle. 
So now it's 63. Remember at the beginning it was 64. Let me show you another variation. Okay, a rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen by five. So now we've got sixty five units. Remember, we started off with four simple cutouts, and rearranging them, we've made shapes which have units of sixty three, sixty four, and sixty five.